We are here in Singapore and we're going to be trying lab grown meat. I looked all over for real places that are currently serving lab grown meat and I found many with plans to and even claims of prices at $17 a pound, but I could only find one place that actually is right now. It's called 1880 in Singapore. They've got a little six ounce chicken nugget that is about $23 or $61 a pound. A chicken nugget is structurally much more simple than a steak though. There's a reason that a lot of the lab grown meat that you see is ground beef, hamburgers, and chicken nuggets, right? It's basically just mush that gets shaped and breaded. And granted, $61 a pound sounds crazy, but some people are expecting a pound of meat to be more like $138 a pound. So we're just gonna assume that range to work with. Good Meat, the meat division of the company Eat Just, who you may know as the company with that awful vegan mayonnaise or the egg substitute, just signed a deal to have 10 250,000 liter bioreactors made. Those are gonna have the capacity to make about 30 million pounds of meat, which sounds like a lot, but without even factoring in the cost of the equipment and the ingredients to make the meat, if just one of those bioreactors gets contaminated, it is gonna cost somewhere between 180 and $414 million in lost revenue. And while that 30 pounds might sound impressive, keep in mind that we have 330 million Americans who average 274 pounds of meat a year. That's not even including seafood, and that comes out to a total of 90 billion 420 million pounds of meat, meaning that 30 million will barely be covering 0.033% of our intake. And most scientists agree that Eat Just is being very, very optimistic with their volume projections. And remember that six ounce chicken nugget that I mentioned earlier? For the same price, you can make about 50 pounds of chicken nuggets from normal chicken. The Good Food Institute says that interest and investment in the lab-grown meat industry is nearly at an all-time high, with $896 million invested in 2022 alone. That brings the total invested into the industry to nearly $3 billion. But they also say that they're going to need $450 million just to get a baseline plant operational. And that plant is only going to be making 20 to 30 million pounds of meat. But again, even that is still optimistic. And don't forget that I mentioned investors here, by the way, because we are definitely going to be going into detail about that later. Josh Tetrick from Good Meat says it could be up to $650 million just to make one of these plants. But what both of these companies aren't saying is that this is likely lowballing. Both of these companies have to keep these investors interested, right? With all that, how is this ever going to be affordable for the common person? The most optimistic claims have this at $17 a pound of meat. And that's only using 20,000 liter bioreactors. That is barely 8% the size of the ones that Good Food Institute and Good Meat are crossing their fingers for. This doesn't even take into account the markup for stores though. With a pound of real beef costing an average of $5, the store markup for meat averaging about 35%. That brings the total for lab-grown meat to roughly $26 a pound. And again, this is the price that we're told assuming everything goes to plan. This is the optimistic price. So by 2030, we can hope in the best case scenario, to spend more than five times what we currently do just for lab-grown meat. Even with average inflation rates, by 2030, a pound of ground beef is barely gonna be over $6. And if you thought that clip was crazy, wait till you hear the full context in this deep dive. Hit that top video right there, and I'll see you there.